there are lots of artists where if they were going to do a female fawn riding a male centaur, they would do it in such a way that it was from the side, it was really clear, you could really see what everything was. The Tiepolos draw things as if they were watching things happen in front of them. So this literally does look like something. I mean, you can't quite figure out at first where the male centaur is. It takes a while to realize it's a female fawn when you see the outline of her breasts there. Part of what I love about that is the ambition of it. But the other thing is, he's respecting the viewer. He's, he's not babying the viewer and saying, well, I have to turn the, the centaur sideways because I want to make sure you know what it is. He's saying, no, this work a little bit at it. They're incredible drawings because there's this evanescence to the drawings, which is not just about technical skill. To do something that looks like it's just kind of breathed out onto the paper, and the washes are are filled with light, like the way it works on the back of this female fawn, and the way that lines are just used as these kind of skittering forms that hold shapes together, as opposed to something that really bounds the whole form. To do something where you work with such a light hand requires a kind of incredible confidence. And Tiepolo, in some ways, that's part of what keeps him sort of fresh, is there's a willingness to traffic in unanswerable mystery. There's a dreamlike quality. To the, I mean, it just, you know, the thing that the point of view is so odd and that you can't figure it out at first, and that the artist is, to some extent, relying on that, that you're going to be puzzled, that you're going to be thrown. That's a kind of thing that leads, in one sense, directly into surrealism in the 20th century, that idea that you can't quite understand what you're looking at at first.